Today, I'll show you how to build a simple table frame using aluminum extrusion. My uncle asked me to make a full metal table frame, just the frame, without the tabletop, and I agreed to build it for him, for free. We'll be using a couple of our precision jigs to build this table. To prevent horizontal flexing, we're using 3060 aluminum profiles. These profiles don't have slots on some faces, which gives the frame a more professional finish. After drilling, the hole edges are rough and we'll need chamfering to clean them up. We need to drill holes through the aluminum profiles to allow our Allen key to fit through for internal joinery like blind joints. A blind joint refers to fastening with internal screws or bolts that remain completely hidden within the joint's structure. And to use blind joints throughout this table, we'll also need to drill the adjacent face of each aluminum profile. To mount the jig correctly, we'll first ensure there's no gap at the front, then firmly secure it using the side screws. With this setup, together with clamps to hold down our material, we'll be able to repeatedly make accurate hole placements. The holes will be centered 15 millimeters and 45 millimeters from the edge of the aluminum profile, ready for internal joinery. This entire process, including the drilling, takes just minutes to complete. After chamfering, we'll have perfectly finished holes that are clean to the touch. All the tools and hardware you've seen in this video are available on our website, including a wide selection of precision jigs suitable for various projects. Let me re-emphasize how to attach the jig correctly. In our setup, we slide the jig with the T-nuts already attached. By tightening the front bolt first, we eliminate the gap, then secure the side screws to prevent shifting. For the drilling process, hold the drill as vertically straight as possible and limit each pass to five seconds to avoid heat buildup in the jig. With the correct drill bit, we'll cut through the aluminum quickly, keeping the jig cool to the touch. And just like that, We've professionally completed drilling all four legs of the table with precision, and we're ready for the next step. From this point onward, we'll use a variety of specialized methods to achieve perfect joints. These flush plates will be used in multiple ways throughout the build. Our standard end fasteners need to be inserted into the internal joinery to create a larger holding surface. With our workpiece securely clamped, we'll begin with the first corner. Each joint requires two internally tightened bolts, exactly what we pre-drilled for earlier. Once positioned, we'll use flush plates to align all sides to the same plane before final tightening. Flush plates are indispensable in my workshop. I use them in every single setup. When applied correctly, they guarantee perfectly aligned aluminum extrusion profiles every time, eliminating all guesswork. For this joint, we used three sets to get the alignment. Once that is done, we can tighten both the bolts down. After removing all the flush plates, what we've got is total perfection. And honestly, I found no way to do it any better. This method guarantees success on your first attempt, giving you absolute peace of mind that your joinery is done well. Furthermore, this will work too when you do not have a perfectly flat surface to work on, or when you do not trust that your table is really actually flat. Now, we'll bring in the pieces that makes the horizontal length of the frame. We'll use the diagonal sides of my workbench to assemble the rest of the frame. This lets us overhang the legs and clamp everything into position before attaching the remaining pieces. In this scenario, flush plates have limited use because there aren't enough slots to attach to. Despite that, we still need to perfect this joint, which makes things a lot trickier. That's why we'll use our perpendicular alignment jig with just one flush plate on top to get the alignment task done right. This alignment jig will hold both pieces together, flat on the same plane, while we work on the remaining parts. By using all these tools and methods demonstrated, we'll save a tremendous amount of time, avoid mistakes, and achieve perfect results, making your workflow smooth and enjoyable. You should have noticed by now, I used very few tools to build this project. My workbench is a simple IKEA table. With some precision jigs and clamps, we built a basic frame with minimal mess, completely dust-free, 
and this assembly took only a few hours, which is almost no time at all. This is the beauty of working with aluminum extrusion, and most people I've met appreciate this fact. I know you would also like to build your own table too, so head onto our website and you should be able to find what you need. Before removing the alignment jig, I always run my fingers across to inspect the result. Every single time, it's impressive. Now that you've seen half of my demonstration, what's the most useful thing you learned? Let me know in the comments. It's time for the other end of the table frame, and I'll need some help to keep this section suspended while I work on the joinery. In this case, we can still do it alone by using flush plates again to keep the top flush and continue working on the joints just like we did before. Our alignment jig will be used again for flush. Once all the bolts are locked down, we'll have assembled the aluminum extrusions into a sturdy frame. For now, let's inspect our work. We've built an aluminum extrusion frame perfect for a table and extremely lightweight. Before carrying on, I need to move it around and verify everything is done correctly. From what you can see, it's built exactly to spec. Now we'll move to the brackets. We'll use 60-60 brackets and the choice of fasteners will be T-bolts and flange nuts. These will maintain perfect 90-degree angles at every corner while adding external joinery, complementing the internal joinery we've already done for extra strength. Sometimes I prefer using basic hand tools to tighten these fasteners. This way, I can monitor the brackets and prevent any shifting while securing them. By adding these brackets, we've improved the frame's strength and integrity. And the best part? They're completely hidden from view unless you peek under the table. It'll take some time to finish tightening all these brackets. While you wait, go ahead and hit subscribe and like, because that's what we need to keep sharing knowledge with the global community. Remember those holes we drilled earlier? Now I need to find the hole plugs meant for this purpose. In my storage system, nearly everything has its place, perfectly organized and easy to find. These hole plugs serve one purpose, to close all the 8mm holes around the frame. In many of my projects, I use hole plugs to hide the joinery from view. To the untrained eye, something's clearly happening behind them, but the details stay completely hidden. An added aesthetic benefit. Most hardware you've seen here is available on our website, I've personally made sure of this. The designs for these two tables are also complete and ready for download. As for the build video, please be patient while we finish the edits. And with that, this table frame is complete. This time, no tabletop and ready to deliver to my uncle, who's been patiently waiting for his brand new aluminum extrusion table frame. Now, click one of these, and I'll bring you through a more complex but satisfying project.